I'm just doing a bit of UFO spotting in the loft. It's uh, a guy I used to subscribe to, in fact I believe I still do, but I've not uploaded anything for ages. And he used to film this sort of stuff from his place, just the uh, other side of North Manchester. And he'd post all this stuff up saying, oh look at the UFO, look at the UFO. Well there you go mate. There is your UFO. Sorry, it uh, whizzed out a shot very slightly there. But, uh, of course, being uh, an avid sky watcher, I uh, was always very, very aware of exactly what these UFOs are. And uh, I can guarantee that within uh, four to five minutes, that there UFO will be flying straight over our house, heading in towards Manchester Airport. It uh, can be very interesting the way they uh, appear on the horizon over there. They can be very, very unnerving because they come in extremely brightly. And then they seem to fade out and then they can flare up again. One of the reasons I'm hanging out of the loft at the moment is I'm waiting for a mothership to appear. One thing that I really do love about uh, outer space stuff is the fact that everything works so much like clockwork. Uh, and I'm expecting uh, very soon now a hell of a UFO to appear somewhere, I hope, underneath that chemtrail in that direction of the sky. So uh, this may very likely turn out to be the most boring YouTube video you've ever, ever seen. It's uh, quite a nice evening tonight. It's been a reasonably nice day today. But, uh, not that I've seen much of it. I've... Uh, my little siesta this afternoon, which probably means I won't be able to get any sleep tonight, but there we go. A quick look at the time. Hmm. Yeah, maybe slightly overdue. We did see this spacecraft go over uh, last night around about this time, and it was quite a stunning display. But, uh, according to uh, my details, it should be an even better one this evening, but uh, no doubt I'll, I'll miss it. Some more lucky folk just coming back from somewhere. An interview about now. Oh, and just above it, I believe that may very well be what we're waiting for. Don't know if this camera's picking it up or not. There we go. Try and zoom in a bit. Yeah, that one's promising. It's probably just appearing as a blob on the camera. Thank God for tripods. It's just such a pity I'm a crap cameraman. Oh, that was interesting. No idea what that was that flew past it. Let's pan back a bit, see if we can get it in the context. Told you it'd be boring, didn't I? Not so much, not so boring when I tell you that that fuzzy blob flying over there contains six human beings. He's 400 kilometres up in the air and he's travelling at Christ knows what speed. And that was another strange thing flying around. Maybe I am picking up some UFOs here tonight. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the International Space Station. Yes, I know, I'm a sad ass. Whoops, lost it. It's gone into the clouds. Typical. Typical. Yeah, I'd spent uh, far too much time than is healthy for me just uh, looking out the loft at International Space Station flying over. There's a, I'll put a link uh, underneath the video for the uh, Heavens Above website, which is fantastic because you can uh, 
basically uh, type in your coordinates of wherever you live on this uh, little spinning rock of ours and it'll give you full information as to when uh, you're likely to see the thing passing which it does uh, quite regularly at certain times of the year and it, uh, it always fascinates me that there's always uh, well at the moment I believe six human beings up there they've had a few problems I understand looking at their website with the um, coolant system up there so I imagine it's been a bit warm for him and uh, a little bit more alarming is the fact that uh, they're about to jettison all their shit that they've been gathering into a little module which is going to be burning up over the Pacific at some point so any of you living in the Pacific area keep an eye out there might be something landing on your roof anytime now <laughs>